This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. All right, so just a quick opener. I have went my entire life without seeing this movie. Even though I am absolutely in the realm of science fiction, I seem to live there, right? Uh, with my favorite shows, obviously being, uh, I, I'd give Farscape a run for, you know, I'd, I'd put that on the list. Farscape, um, all of the Star Trek's greatest shows, right? Um, but obviously none greater than Stargate. All right. Um, you know, so understand, like, I'm definitely a science fiction related human being. Babylon 5, Serenity. You, you understand what I'm saying here, guys? Like, I'm I'm there. Right? Absolutely. But Star Wars, I don't know. Um, I've tried to watch this movie when I was younger and um, I fell asleep. Then I tried to watch it like, you know, later on in life and then I fell asleep. But I will say, um, I think now that we have this, uh, you know, uh, the movie reaction channel, it, it'll, I can, I'll probably pay a little bit more attention because now I have to pay more attention. If that makes any sense, right? Um, so let's see what this is about. Guys, keep in mind, I know nothing about the story at all. I think I know the, the Luke, I am your father thing from just like pop culture references. Um, I know there's like a hairy guy or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we are. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Race is home aboard her spaceship, custodian of the stolen plans that can save her people and restore the freedom of to the gallery. Gallery. Galaxy. Let's get it. Definitely a great use of uh of miniatures here, guys. I'm guessing this was probably a Marvel for when it came out. 1977. R2-D2, where are you? I think that guy needs an inhaler, guys. Obviously, uh, that's uh, that's Darth Vader. He's Obviously, I know him from pop culture. We're intercepting no transmissions. This is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic Okay, so abnormally strong. This is a consular ship. Where is the ambassador? <laughs> Bro, they, he, um, he was, uh, let's say, choked, right, uh, to the point where he passed out. But then, when, when, when the guy Darth Vader like threw him, he, he came back kind of enough to catch himself before he fell. <laughs> Guys, all right. So Darth Vader invades the ship, looking for passengers, and this is the princess. Getting in bed. Bro, go don't stand there. I'm going to regret this. I mean, it's either get into that thing or be evaporated or something. Uh, and I know this is a princess because of like, the Halloween costumes. Part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. <laughs> okay. It could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. I can only imagine, like, if anything happens to her, she'll probably become a martyr. Like, what type of individual uh, proceeds to hold a princess knowing that it's a princess? Guys, okay, so that's, that's a little... That's crazy. How did we get into this mess? I really don't know. Where do you think you're going? Well, I'm not going that way. Yeah, it looks like a desolate place, uh, bro. This way it's, is much easier. It's what a desert. What you think there are settlements over there? Go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you nearsighted scrap pile. And don't let me catch you following me, begging for help, because you won't get it. Bro, I would think that that machine that doesn't speak, that just beeps, probably knows where it's going better than the other one does. No more adventures. I'm not going that way. He tricked me into going this way. Let's just hope that thing is a fossil and whatever being that is doesn't exist any longer. Wait, 
What's this? <laughs> a transport. I'm saved. Over here! Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a trash can on wheels, guys. Looks like a giant grain harvester. All right, so really, really quick question, guys. Was this based on like some previous lore that everyone else knew? Like, were there comic books or books written about this? universe right um before this here or did everyone just get like thrown into this first because as of right now i still don't really know what's happening or maybe i shouldn't know really what's happening oh, wait maybe i shouldn't have said that because i know pe people in the comments are gonna be like i've been watching this movie for my entire life how don't you know what's happening i know what's happening maybe i shouldn't have said that but all right listen here's the thing um i know what's going on visually right but i have no idea what all of this has to do with anything if that makes any sense right um i understand that darth vader came onto the ship took princess leah right and um that's it that's that's basically it and then i don't what's the purpose of these robots guys like why why are we following them who are they to her or who are they to him or anyone r2d2 it is you it is you okay so they both got captured by the same like, I don't know, mountain people with red eyes, guys. Okay, yeah, without a doubt, this was definitely something to be amazed by in the 1970s, guys. This is... I, okay, I get I get why this, this could definitely be a cultural icon just based off of this, guys. This scene right here pretty much tells me what to look forward to. Um, and specifically coming from the late 70s, this was definitely groundbreaking, guys. Like, was it like animatronics over green screen or? Do you think they'll melt us down? Probably. Luke as in Luke Skywalker, I'm guessing. I know this name also. <laughs> you, I suppose you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. Protocol? Why? Okay, all right, I get it now, I get it now. Um, I guess we just need to wait a little bit longer for it to be kind of, you know, come together. But 20 minutes in is a bit, it's a bit long to tell the story of the, of where these robots came from. I'm guessing because these, these are the lead characters in a sense, these lead robots, they're going to be purchased by, I guess, the uncle, right? My primary function I so now we know that they came from no that ship and of they've been chased by and Darth I'm Vader's Goons. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Now, come on, get to it. All right, come on. This R2 unit has a bad motivator, look! Hey, what are you trying to push on? <laughs> a bad motivator? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Okay, so they're like used car salesmen, guys. <laughs> Bro, don't cut the scene right when I'm about to see it like fall down the stairs. I want to see it walk down those stairs, bro. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure which planet I'm on. Well, if there's a bright center of the universe, you're on the planet that it's farthest from. I see. Okay. <laughs> well, you can call me Luke. I see, sir, Luke. Were you on a star cruiser? Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. What's this? What is what? He asked you a question. What is that? Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. A random message, or was this not a an accident? Is he Obi Wan Kenobi? Quite frankly, sir, I don't know what he's talking about. 
Mm. Our last master was Captain Antilles. What message? <laughs> the one you've just been playing. The one you're carrying <laughs> in front of the rusty innards. Here, see what you can do with him. I'll be right back. Either he is bored, or he just is super just invested in this random person that he just saw in a hologram. Bro. No, I don't think he likes you at all. No, I don't like you either. <laughs> you like him a lot, bro. <laughs> you like you like that thing that doesn't speak anything but beeps a whole lot. Oh, what if he's related to Ben? That wizard's just a crazy old man. Wizard. Tomorrow I want you to take that R2 unit to anchor head and have its memory erased. That'll be the end of it. It belongs to us. Now. They know something. So Obi Wan comes looking for it. You won't. Your only concern is to prepare those new droids for tomorrow. The yeah. Morning, I walk him up there on the south ridge, working on those condensers. Something weird about this conversation, guys. Luke's just not a farmer. Or he has too much of his father in him. Afraid. I can tell you right now, I don't trust the aunt and uncle, guys. I don't trust them at all. Like, why are you trying to keep him from, like, experiencing life in, in any type of meaningful way? That's crazy. Oh, no. A little robot tricked him. <laughs> Remove the restraining collar. Couldn't we go after him? It's too dangerous with all the sand people around. We'll have to wait until morning. Sand people? Well, that's not nice to say. <laughs> Guys, that's wild. Hey, whoa, just where do you think you're going? Master Luke is your rightful owner now. We'll have no more of this Obi-Wan Kenobi gibberish. There are two Banthas down there, but I don't see any... Banthas. They're sand people, all right? I can see one of them now. <laughs> Bro, why are they so aggressive? Maybe territorial or something? You understand him? <laughs> the, what? Ben Kenobi? The general huh. wastes are not to be traveled lightly. The aunt and uncle said you didn't exist any longer, Tell sir. Young Luke. The aunt and uncle said Obi Wan Kenobi basically, you know, expired when Luke's father did. He did not introduce himself to him, but yet he instantly said, Tell me, young Luke. He instantly recognized this man as Ben. So I'm. I'm was, was there a scene that we missed, guys? Uh, I don't know. To be traveled lightly. How would they have known each other without knowing each other? Now that's a name I've not heard a long time. It's obviously his name. It has to be because it sounds familiar. Oh, he's not. Not yet. He's me. You fought in the Clone Wars? Yes. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. I wish I'd known him. Jedi the best star pilot okay. in the galaxy. What is it? It's your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. <laughs> An elegant weapon. <laughs> for the more oh, okay. civilized day. Let's go. <laughs> that scared us. Generations of the Jedi Knights. <laughs> I was not expecting that sound, guys. A young Jedi named Darth Vader. Who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. Okay, Obi Wan Kenobi uh, taught his father along with Darth Vader. Noted. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. The Jedi. Jedi Knights. Now the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's everything. It's. Uh, Subatomic. Uh, now, sorts. let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little friend. You must learn the ways of the Force if you're to come with me to Alderaan. Alderaan? I'm not going to Alderaan. When did he I say he wanted to go I with you? It is. I need your help, Luke. She needs your help. I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Dangerous to your Starfleet, Commander, not to this... Starfleet, state. Commander? The Rebellion will continue to gain a support in the Imperial Senate. The Imperial long... Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. Faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. 
As you wish. <laughs> how how dare you talk to this man like this, bro? Fortress by the time this station is operational. So it's obviously it's obvious that someone else is above Darth Vader because this guy here, you know, as you wish. So whoever this guy is is probably like the really bad guy. I'm guessing, potentially. But why would Imperial troops want to slaughter Jawas? Because they were looking for that thing. That's crazy, guys. All right. So now there's really nothing keeping you here at all. Because there's nothing I'll seek revenge against a force that seems to be unbeatable and oppressive. And the droids would now be in the hands of the Empire. F right. For them to have raised him, his response to seeing that is wild, actually. Like, he's not sad in the slightest, guys. Like, uh, like, guys, if you would have told me that this movie came out in 1977, I would probably say I don't believe you. And that means they were probably working on it since, like, 1974, 5, and 6. Guys, keep that in mind. <laughs> Move along. Move along. All right. I mean, that. listen, that's a superpower, guys, all right? I wouldn't mind having something like that. It'd be amazing. Imagine. Just, like, suggest things to people. Guys, I'm guessing Jim Hansen had a lot to do with this film. Character design is solid. Bro, what is on your face? Okay. I'm almost positive those are testicles. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, continue about your, your day, you guys. Yeah. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? Right. Congratulations. Congratulations. And no questions asked. What is it, some kind of local trouble? That's just... I think this guy is famous, guys. And it's going to cost you something extra. Okay. 10,000, all in advance. 10,000? Looks like somebody's beginning to take an interest in your handiwork. Oh, yeah, Oscar. Yes, I bet you have. My clunky. That's bold, bro. Listen, never draw on a drawn firearm, bro. Right? Never do that. It works in movies, but uh, almost never in real life. <laughs> Life means literally zero on that planet, guys. Is considerable. <laughs> guys, the gold robot is always complaining, always complaining about something, but he actually likes that thing, guys. Gone what we be. <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna run, did you? I think you did. But I got a nice, easy charter now. I'll pay you back. Plus a little extra. I just need a little more time. I think it was a solid looking scene for the era, guys. Definitely groundbreaking. I can almost guarantee you that. A couple of weird things, right? But overall, the look was solid. Also helped tell us the story of, uh, of Han Solo here. He's a smuggler. He is known for basically dropping his cargo. <laughs> okay, they're, so they're faster than light travel. Their FTL travel is called light speed. Noted. To a star, too close to a supernova, and then it injured real quick, wouldn't it? 
The science sounds so solid. Both trap yourselves in. I'm going to make a jump to light speed. They're on down to wing. There. You see, Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. She's not telling the truth. Operation, you may fire when ready. Oh, whoa, just one shot? Just, just, just a one shot. I feel something terrible has happened. Huh. You better get on with your exercises. Yeah, something terrible did happen, bro. Well, you can forget your troubles with those... It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. But, sir, nobody worries about upsetting a, Wookie. a droid. It's because a droid don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Wookiees oh. are known to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, leave that thing alone, bro. I see your point, sir. Yeah. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let, the Let him win. win. Right, right. <laughs> a Wookiee. Remember, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. You mean he controls your actions? Partially, but it also obeys your commands. Kid, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but a nurse. Okay, so is the Force a religion? Because how some of them, how some people are speaking about it is that it's some type of like belief system. But we know that. Darth Vader just used it to basically, I don't know, stop the guy from breathing, right? Or was it because his mind was weak that that it even happened? I wonder, is it a religion or is it like some real tangible thing? But I feel like it may be tangible in this universe, guys. Absolutely tangible. There's no mystical energy field controls my destiny. I mean, they can prove it, though. A lot of simple tricks and nonsense. Well, he can. He can I prove it. I suggest you try it again, Luke. I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. He just said act on them. instinct. You see? You can do it. Bro, that was I a little fast. Luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Look, good against Listen, if he can figure it out that fast, then it's probably not that hard. Because, uh, unless he's a natural. She lied. She lied to us. I told you she would never consciously betray the rebellion. Hmm. Terminate her immediately. Stand by, Chewie. Here we go. Cutting the sublight engines. It's followed us! No, it's a short range fighter. If there are any bases around here, where did it come from? Sure is leaving in a big hurry. If they identify us, we're in big trouble. Not if I can help it. Chewie, jam its transmissions. Bro, it is definitely the space ball, bro. Pulling us in. There's gotta be something you can do. There's nothing oh, I can oh, do oh. about it, kid. I'm full power. I'm gonna have to shut down. They're not gonna get me without a fight. I don't think that you have much of a chance, bro, against something this large. How, guys, how are they just standing out there? I'm guessing they figured out, like, some type of anti gravity or something <laughs> or or maybe their boots are like magnetic and are holding them down yeah. Unlock. One, five, seven, and nine. Release charge. guys for some reason like coming into this movie i thought that darth vader was going to play like a much larger part uh based off of how much people speak about him right um but he seems to be somewhat reasonable uh he does yeah at least outside looking in, right? It looks like he really doesn't want to harm the princess at all. Um, almost as like he's trying to make excuses to keep her alive, guys. I definitely thought he was going to play a much bigger part, guys, for some reason. There's no one on board, sir. According to the log, the crew abandoned ship right after takeoff. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? <laughs> Solid quote, guys. Solid. You know, between his howling and your blasting everything inside, it's a wonder the whole station doesn't know we're here. Well, bring him on. I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around. We found the computer. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. I think you're overwhelmed in terms of the force that's there, guys. Like the uh, the amount of people. Like nothing to do with the force. I'm afraid I'm not quite sure, sir. He says I found her and keeps repeating she's here. Okay. Well, who? Who has he found? Princess Leia. 
the princess she's here princess where where is she princess what's going on guys is it leia or leia the gold robot pronounces it leia um the guy who was above darth vader said leia what's the correct pronunciation guys I'm not going anywhere. They're going to execute her. Look, a few minutes ago, he said he's, he didn't. He's the one. She's the one in the message. She's talking. He's saying this to him like he knows the message. He wasn't there when we, they saw the message, bro. And we haven't seen any context to him even knowing what the message even was. Better her than me. Hmm. And he is super attached, guys. I, he's, it's like he's in love with this person that has that he has no idea who or what she is, really. Listen, if you were to rescue her, the reward would be... What? Well, I don't know how... Than you can imagine. Guys, and I also don't know how rich she is. She lost her planet. Look at it. Where are you taking this? Thing? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Bro, why did you shoot the random mechanism that you... Guys. It wasn't going to stop the other person from knowing. Ben Kenobi, where is he? Come on. He is here. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What makes you think so? A tremor in the force. <laughs> I like her. Let's go. <laughs> she, guys, she has the right state of mind to be doing this, guys. Discovered. Hey, listen, you're alive. Get That's what matters. Bro. Get away from there. What? It's worse. Yeah, it, it, it sounds worse. That's your imagination. Bro, I honestly hope you didn't open your mouth. Oh, wow. Bro. Oh, they are. They're a little soft, guys. In the head, I think. It's a little soft. Just, you know. <laughs> you guys, you give people like that firearms? Bro. Wow. Well, Something must have happened to them. Oh, uh, yeah. They've been captured. Hurry. One thing's for sure, we're all going to be a lot thinner. <laughs> no, that's not a great joke to tell at this very specific time, bro. Come here, you big coward. Chewie, come here. I don't know who you are or where you came from. But from now on, you do as I tell you, okay? Worshipfulness. Let's get one thing straight. I take orders from just one person, me. So one day you're still alive. <laughs> Bro, I don't even think she can give you a reward. Just to be honest, I don't. I don't believe so. She has no planet. She was a princess because of the land. I'm guessing, right? The the land is gone. Sadly. <laughs> Why would they be running from? <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, yeah. The trap. They're coming through. <laughs> that was counterproductive, bro. What's funny is, guys, um, is earlier in the movie they said that when they found like that thing that like took 
those two robots, right? They were like, oh, they couldn't have been done by those very specific people of the sand, let's call them, right? And um, because it was too accurate. But it seems like that was not a really good metric to gauge by because obviously they are the most inaccurate group of soldiers um, <laughs> that you will ever encounter in your entire life. They keep missing everything, but yet they were perfectly on target before. Guys, come on. All right. Help me understand this. Well, that very specific thing. Like they're both, they're both missing every single shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Obi Wan. We meet again at last. <laughs> If you strike you me down, come back. I'll be more powerful than you can possibly imagine. What kept you? We are running some old friends. Is the ship all right? Seems okay if we can get to it. Just hope the old man got the tractor beam out of commission. It seems like the king of one-liners, guys. What just happened, guys? <laughs> he looked at Luke, smiled, then disappeared. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can imagine. Huh. For risk, Vader. This had better work. Wow. Not a bad bit of rescue, huh? Oh, I didn't. I definitely did not expect that to happen, bro. That doesn't sound But either way, hard. let's see how this. Let's see how this turns out. It's the only explanation for the ease of our escape. Easy. You call that easy? They're tracking us. Yeah, it was obviously easy. At least the information our team. But I didn't expect it. What's so important? What's he carrying? The technical readouts of that battle station. So, what do you think of her, hon? Trying not to, kid. Good. Well, this man is smitten. Still, he's got a lot of spirit. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a princess and a guy like me? No. You're safe. When we heard about Alderaan, we feared the worst. We have no time for Asara's commander. You must use the information in this R2 unit to help plan the attack. It's our only hope. <laughs> oh, gosh, gosh. So she just said that they're being tracked. She knew they were being tracked. Why would you go back to the rebel base if you know you are being tracked? If you think, if you can assume, hey, I think we're being tracked. Why would you go back here? Now they know where you are, exactly where the, the base is carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around Bro, are they saying Starfleet assault. as like a, a like a shout out to Star Wars the, to Star Trek to yes. the outer defense. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leia has demonstrated a weakness in the battle station. But they do have a tighter defense. I mean as soon as they in their well um, Han Solo's ship the Millennium Millennium Falcon uh, got even close, it got sucked in with a tractor beam, or maybe the tractor beam was only active because uh, one of the ships was returning to the station. Could be that also. Um, but if that's a common occurrence, then they already have protection against one singular ship. If it gets close, it gets sucked in with a tractor beam. 
The approach will not be easy. Then man your ships, and may the force be with you. Hmm. May the force be with you. Orbiting the planet at maximum velocity. The moon so are all of these people that we just saw, the rebels, this will be a day all like force believers? Will... Question. They are now seeing all these ships uh, kind of heading towards their their station. Why are they not just instantly like? Why didn't they come out of hyperspace and just instantly destroy the planet, guys? Like, if you see it moving, destroy the planet. You just have to worry about what nine fighters. So, you got your. What good's a reward if you ain't around to use it? Besides, attacking that battle station ain't my idea of courage. It's more like suicide. I mean, All right. Well, take care of yourself, Han. Huh? I guess that's what you're best at, isn't it? Hey, Luke. May the force be with you. Gold Squadron, easy. Get to take off. Proceed. Okay, so we have a new character Head named Biggs. Tight, You've got for him, would you? Have we met Biggs before, guys? Or it's just like an old friend. Well, it's obviously like an old friend from from his uh, his home planet. Would look like at least. Luke, the force will be with you. You see these guys right here? What are they doing? <laughs> um, are they like gassing up the electric vehicles? And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they're probably electric is because of everything that's surrounding it, right? I mean, they're using like uh, look, whenever they fire the, their their blasters, it's electric. And then as you hear them taking off, it's just a uh, an electric engine. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into it, but I just don't understand why. What these guys here are for? Uh, what would be the purpose of them? But I'm sure, like, uh, like the lore, the lore is, I'm sure, deep enough for someone to help me out on that on that question. Seriously, are their vehicles electric, or is it a combustion-based uh, spaceship? But why would it be combustion if everything else is electric? You see what I'm saying? There are no flames. They're just... Eject. Bro, don't eject in space. All right. Okay, that's why they didn't just pull out. Okay. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so the reason why they didn't just come out of, like, uh, hyperspace. But, I mean, I guess they probably could have, you know, stayed in hyperspace just a little bit longer just to come out, destroy the planet, to go back into hyperspace. Several fighters have broken off from the main group. Come with me. Red 5, where are you? I can't shake him. <laughs> in attack formation. Got for Marked and locked in. So someone as important as Darth Vader gets into his own. Yeah, definitely a different universe, bro. I don't think anyone with that much like power is doing any of this, guys, at all. I copy, Gold Leader. It came from behind. <laughs> all right. We analyze their attack, sir, and there is a danger. It's just Have Luke. Your ship standing by. Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Ah. Uh, three minutes and closing. <laughs> bro, you, bro, evacuate. Go ahead, and take, go ahead and get off of that, bro. Because they're going to get to the, your, your soft spot before you can get to the planet. Hold on. Negative. Negative. Didn't go in. Just impacted on the surface. Now Luke obviously being the main character here, he's going to uh hopefully get it in, bro. Yeah, guys, there has to be lore around this, guys. I feel like I'm missing a lot of the story without knowing that lore. 
Let him go. See, there's that that odd compassion that I am kind of picking up on with Darth Vader. Obi Wan Kenobi is like in his head. The force is strong with this one. Oh! Oh no! What? <laughs> okay. Bro, just in time to care about something other than yourself, right? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Bro, um... So Darth Vader was the only one that made it? I would definitely like to suggest a couple of things for the ships that they're flying. I would definitely say that you should probably invest into some type of inertial dampeners. Uh, so when you're, you know, I don't know, flying in the ship, you're not just doing this. But I get it. You know, they're, they're doing this to show movement because they didn't, uh, you know, think of inertial dampeners in this time, guys. But definitely that thing is probably needed to kind of you know, just at least stabilize the ship a little bit. Because can you imagine you flying in that ship and it's always moving like someone is on all three sides of it, like they were probably most likely filming it. Um, just doing this. <laughs> guys, that's crazy, guys. What? Can you hear me? Say something. You can repair him, can't you? We'll get to work on him right away. You must repair him. Sir, if any of my circuits or gears will help, I'll gladly donate them. He'll be all right. Guys, those helmets are ridiculous. All right. The movie itself was interesting. Uh, definitely for the like for the era, I definitely can tell you that this movie was mind blowing for the era. There are a couple of issues for me personally, though. There were some continuity issues. Uh, I didn't point these out obviously too deeply, at least, uh, mainly because you gotta understand. I'm putting it. I'm looking at it through the lens of the era, right? And so we're gonna move on from those very specific small ones, small, nothing major, nothing like like plot breaking or anything like that. Um, I do feel that I think what brought people back to this franchise, very specifically to this very specific movie, may have been the the mind blowing special effects for the era. Right, I think that's what probably brought people back more more than the story, at least. Um, as of right now, I am still trying to figure out things that were just not answered, um, and a lot of it is because I, there there had to have been lore, right? Like whether there had to be like either a book or a comic book or, or something that kind of filled in the blanks, um, because there are a lot of them for me personally. Or maybe that's just, you know, what I've come to expect from from science fiction, like movies and shows. Um, think about it for a second here. If you look if you look at the shows that I have been watching for my entire life and like movies that I've been watching for my entire life in terms of like, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, not Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, uh, Stargate, Farscape, Babylon 5, um, all of the Stargate, it's all Star Treks, right? And, and all the Stargates up until Universe when it got canceled, right? Even the web series from Stargate, the Catherine one. Guys, so like, I guess my brain has been wired to to uh, to kind of just like take, like whatever I watch is so full of like like detail that there's no questioning what's kind of happening, right? Uh, but I think for this movie here, it definitely leaves me like, I don't know what happened before this, right? If that makes any sense. Like, there has to be more to the story uh, that I'm missing here. Um, but 
what will bring me back, no doubt, is to, is to look at it and, and just marvel at the fact that it's beautiful to look at. Um, it's absolutely beautiful to look at. The scoring was great. Um, no no issues with acting. I think, the, I think everyone acted very well for the era also, right? Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, I know there are more movies, so tell me which ones we should be looking at, maybe. Or maybe, yeah, tell me the ones we should be checking out, just in general. Um, the ones that will kind of fill in the blanks at least, because I, for me personally, there are a lot of blanks. Uh, and I do want to continue the series because again, I do feel like I've missed something a little bit, right? Um, and I would like to check it out at least, right? Uh, I can't I can't go through the world ignorant of Star Wars. Guys, how do you do that? Um, but all right, listen, if you guys do want to see the full length uh, reaction to this, this is on Patreon in the, at, at the second tier, all right? And uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day uh, thoroughly.